No, don't talk. Okay. Ruins my video. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hello everybody we're here for what a midnight live i don't know what time it is it's we're in california it's like nine o'clock 9 30. yeah 9 30. okay so this is my new range hood um let me get close on it so what we did what we've done it was um plain wood and we sprayed the dixie bell bronze patina with a gray coast sprayer and um Ours is not, I don't know a lot about spraying. I don't spray furniture. I hand paint everything. So this is really our first experience spraying furniture. So we watched every video by Pam at 44 Marketplace. <laughs> every video. And um, so we sprayed the bronze patina. And then I put the um, blue patina spray in a mister bottle. And I misted it. And then when the um, efflorescence appeared... I wiped it all back. So I just have a little bit gathered in the corners. Let's see if I can go close like that. It's so pretty. So, and then I painted the bottom of it to match my cabinetry in my kitchen, which is this creamy white color. Pam is amazing. Um, this creamy white color. So this is the Dixie Belle Flea Market decor line in aged ivory. And that was because it's the closest color to my kitchen cabinetry. So now, Sean is all decked out, looking all good for us tonight. He's going to spray for me because it actually um, intimidates me a little bit. So this is our sprayer. Um, oh, I thought it was a Graco. It's a Husky. No, it's a, it's a, what are you talking about? Sorry. Husky Gravity Feed. It's um, over there. It comes in a... If you can understand me. Yeah, you, we can understand you. It comes in a pack of two. Okay. Right? So here's the container that's over here. Oh, okay. We've had this for like two years. So we've had this for like two years. Why did I buy it? <laughs> I'm not going to say. <laughs> um. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. So this is the package right here. Um, and then it's connected. It does have an air hose and it's connected to the compressor outside. So I just want to, just really quick. And I don't know if anybody's ever covered this before, but these little nylon hoses are the best. Unless it's cold weather, these things are the best. I've had rubber hoses, yeah, but these things are sweet. They're very lightweight, very durable. It's more flexible than the other ones that we've had too. So that's the hose to the compressor. Okay, and so then you've got gator hide in there, and you diluted it slightly. Yeah. Do you know a ratio? No, it's probably like a, a quarter of water. Like a, like, yeah. Okay, so he's estimating about four. Uh, am I on my personal page? I'm on my personal page, aren't I? Oh, well. Well, whatever. Okay. Okay, so Sean's going to spray. And we, you got to make sure you also filter it. Oh, it to get it okay. He, so he um, ran the Gator Hide through it, which is a clear coat. Gator Hide is a um, water repellent clear coat. And he ran it through a screen to filter it, make sure there's no. You like that? That's my respirator, actually. Um, uh, and the right. and the glasses, my, my look, really you know, glasses looking all good. I'm a lucky yeah. girl. Yeah. Um, ran it through a screen to make sure there's no lumps or anything in my gator hide, and then he added about um, three parts gator hide to one part water. Four parts gator hide to one part water. Yeah, something I mean, like that's that. Exactly. Yeah. Right. I'm not and then he sprayed a little test strip just here on the card. So this is the box that actually the range hood came in, and we just set it up like a, a mini spray booth in our garage. We don't. I don't spray enough to have a spray booth set up, but he just did a test section. Okay, so now we're gonna watch Sean spray my. Um, no, Sean's gonna spray my range hood. This is, oh wait, am I gonna really watch paint? Your You're hand? sitting at Denny's eating waffles. I could totally go for a waffle right now. <gasps> oh, I am on my business page. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's sorry. Okay. As long as there's not someone else's business page, okay. we're good. Okay. Can I do this? Okay. Or? Yeah. yeah. Okay, not yet. Not yet. Oh, oh, okay, go. Oh, <laughs> this right. is what we do. It. This is what we do for comic hour. We're totally late night painters. Okay, are we my, my kids are in bed. Well, he, one of us is, not me. Yeah. I can't see it very well from that side. So it, um, it's a, it's, it's a super here. thin coat, but you can see the color difference that it... Yeah? Yeah. The other thing that's nice is you can actually take these nozzles and adjust it to the, whichever direction you want it to go. Okay. So that's what I was just trying to 
Kind of hard. Stick around. Now you start your spray off. Evenly off of the teeth. So it's not wrist action. You want to get all dressed up for this, by the way. I'll get in close when he's done. You can see the color change. So Tanya, this is a Husky sprayer. We got it at Home Depot. It comes in a pack of two. Susan, I have one. I'm just taking it off when I'm talking to you guys. Um, so, it's wet right now. But it's a super thin coat, so we'll probably do what? Probably two or three coats. Three, probably three coats. This is on this. Now, patina is funny because when you get it wet, do you see how my blue kind of disappeared? When this dries, that's going to kind of come back. So you can't really see it but because it's wet, but when that dries... It'll come back. You can see a little on this side. Like that all starts coming back. You can actually, if you dip down here, you can see the original white that the piece was. Here. Yeah, so that's, the that's the inside of the hood. And it was this white color. Um, we don't have the fan installed yet. So I painted up just high enough on the rim so that the... Um, once, the right, once the fan goes in there, it'll hide everything. Yeah, once the fan is in, it hides everything. Um, I feel like Darth Vader. The reason I did this bottom portion in the white is because it has corbels that will attach and these will go under it. So, um, and then it'll have trim at the top that we do in the patina paint too. Yes, it does have patina on it. It does. It kind of disappears with the clear coat, but it will come back when it dries. It side, yeah, you can see it over right. here. There you go. There's a good shot of it. Um, so this is the bronze patina with the blue spray. Um, and then I cleaned off a lot of the efflorescence so it's a little more solid. It does have blue in here. Like you can see as it's starting to dry, it kind of comes back. But once when you get it wet, you kind of lose it a little bit. So anyway, I just thought we don't... Um, yeah, this is what my husband looks like. I don't spray <laughs> a lot. When this I'm is, fully covered... This has been kind of our first experience spraying a piece, was spraying this range hood. Um, a couple things, when we sprayed the patina, um, I know, Sheila, this range hood has been an adventure. I originally ordered a metal range hood and it was a nightmare. Um, I was supposed to have it in five to six weeks. Twelve weeks later, the guy hadn't even started on it. So I canceled and ordered this one and this came in like four weeks. It's beautiful. The measurements are perfect. It's really yeah. nicely made. Does it help at all? Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is right after we sprayed the patina. This has a coat of coffee bean. We started because it was white. And then we gave it two... Bean. That's the coffee bean. And then we gave it two coats of bronze. 
And on the second coat of bronze is when I used a, a um, mister bottle and put the blue patina spray on. So these are photos through the process. I will um, put it all together when we're done. But I think it, it's going to be really pretty in the kitchen. And I'll take pictures. Oh, there we go. That's after the patina spray, but before I had wiped it down. That's before it was all the way dry, too. Yeah. So it had that unevenness, but then you can wipe back. This The white is the efflorescence, and so I wiped back until I just had it in the crevices, which is all I wanted. Sheila, I, do, I will. I got actually got this on Etsy. That's where I got it. So, um, so yeah, that was, that was the first coat. We will do probably two or three more. I will hang this in my kitchen. You guys will get to see it. I don't spray that much. Um, so I kind of wanted to put that on video for you guys to see it being sprayed. I don't have a spray booth or anything. You can see the, the shine off of it. It's really it's pretty. Like in the garage. Yeah. It's hard in the garage from the overspray. Yeah. I think it's going to be really pretty. So this is Gator Hide. Um, someone had asked about what sprayer this is. This is the sprayer. Um, okay. Husky gonna... Gravity Feed. Yeah, on. One here. Yeah. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, there's, there's a model number. Okay. There's a model number. You think it was like a hundred and something, maybe a hundred bucks at Home Depot? Yeah, I don't spray enough to have like a really good sprayer set up, but this um, was a sprayer we already had from another project that we did a while back. And um, I will definitely show you, Gloria. So, so the only thing that complicates us getting this range hood in is where it's going to go in my kitchen. Here, I'll come, I'm going to go show you the kitchen. You can go ahead. Uh, can I carry on? Yeah, carry on. Gonna... What, do whatever you're doing over there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me show you where in my kitchen it's going to go. Oh, that's my bathroom. Okay, so this is the kitchen. You can see we have nothing up right now. Um, some of the cabinets are down, in fact. Um, Amanda, I'll tell him you said hi when, when I go back out there. So we have nothing up here. We had a cabinet and I hated it. I didn't like how it looked. So we took it down. Um, and so it's going to go right here with the corbels. Now we have to tile from the range because the tile, the range hood curves in. So the tile is going to peek out behind it. So we actually have to tile this before we can just hang it. Um, so, so that's where it's going to go, but you can see how I pulled in the color of my cabinetry, why we picked the, the creamy white on the bottom, and then it'll have that dark metal look. Um, what kind of air compressor? Good question, Chandra. Let me go. I think it's a, a DeWalt, because everything he has is DeWalt. What kind of compressor do you have? Is it DeWalt? Uh, yeah, it's a DeWalt. What size? Uh, I think it's a four and a half, four and a half gallon. DeWalt, four and a half gallon. Amanda says hi, your cousin. Oh, uh, hi, Anna. Nothing I'd rather do. Nothing you'd rather do than watch me do this, right? So it's drying. You can see it start drying. I mean, I don't have it in like a dust-free environment and all that. I've seen some really nice spray setups, and we definitely don't have that. But um, I will lightly sand in between coats. Just run over it with a um, fine sanding sponge. Oh, yeah. So I mentioned it also comes in three different sizes. The smaller version, but this is a, a, you know, I'm going to put a, two or three coats on this bad boy, so I'm going to use a lot of it. Yeah. So what I like about this sprayer is he only has to clean out the gun and this uh, holder here versus having to clean out lines and everything. And then he also has, it has a regulator, so you've got to pay attention that sprayers only use so much pressure. If you don't have a regulator, it's going to shoot this out faster than it really needs to. And it's going to be all over the place. So read whatever gun you have or you're going to get, make sure you read the recommended pressure as far as the regulator is concerned. Sheila, adjust it. Sheila my kitchen ceilings are 10 feet. And the great room right next to them have, has 12 foot ceilings. Um, we had to drop the kitchen down because there's a bonus room over that area. So they're at 10 feet. So this is four feet tall, it's 48 inches. And then it'll have a four inch trim at the top. Um, so yeah, I mean, the spacing works out once we get it all hung. 
the 48 that inches really came to a nice good. a nice height for a cooking um, vent. Chandra, I did not paint my cabinets. Those are a factory finish, um, but I matched it as closely as possible with the cream color on this vent. It's a really dead on match. Um, Sheila, they make this range hood in different heights. So it comes in a 36 inch height. This is the 48 inch height. Different widths too. This is a 36 inch width. All right, we're gonna let this dry. Ooh. That was it. Thank you guys for sharing it with us. I don't have my mask on right now. Um, <laughs> but I don't want to be scared to hide. But thank you for sharing this with us. Like I said, we don't spray very often, so I'm excited. And I'll get this up. You guys will see pictures of it. It just may take a while, but we've been working on this for a couple weeks already. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.